Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. When People Are in Konoha, Blood Succession in Space at the Beginning. Chapter 61. The multiple choice question given by Habiki Morino is a torture specifically for those who are not strong in psychological quality, to be precise, the weak. This multiple choice question is whether to choose to challenge the tenth question that is not on the test paper, or choose to give up the tenth question. If you choose to challenge the tenth question, those who answer wrong will completely lose the hope of being promoted to Chunin, and will be a genin in this life. If you give up the tenth question, it will be eliminated now, but the next Chunin exam can make persistent efforts. Compared with the former, the latter is undoubtedly the best choice. After all, the Chunin exam is sometimes held once a year, but sometimes it may be held twice a year. Therefore, in the eyes of those genins who are not confident enough in their own strength, choosing the former is to gamble with their own future, which is not worth it at all. So after the protest was fruitless, soon some candidates could not bear the pressure and chose to give up this session of the Chunin exam. If one person abstains, the remaining two teammates will also be affected. Soon, there were a large number of Karakura seats in the examination room, which had lost one-third of the candidates. Even little Sakura, who was sitting next to Yagayu, started to worry. She was not afraid of the tenth question, which would gamble her future. With her cultural knowledge, if even she could not answer the tenth question correctly, most of the candidates present would be eliminated. This is the only place where little Sakura is confident. What she worries about is that there is no difference between being illiterate, and it is also because three body technique and cultural courses are lagging behind, so the comprehensive score is Naruto, who is at the bottom of the crane, and will not be able to bear the pressure and choose to abstain. Uchiha Sasuke is also concerned that Naruto will abstain. Just when they thought so, they found that Naruto, who was at the same table as Hinata, really slowly raised his right hand. In an instant, the hearts of little Sakura and Uchiha Sasuke were in their throats. However, Naruto's next operation shocked the audience. I saw Naruto's raised palm slapping hard on the table. The sound of, bang, instantly attracted all the candidates and examiners, even Sarutobi Hirazan who had cleared the crystal telescope technique and peeked at the examination room. When Naruto published the declaration in the original book, I don't know whether it was his own personality charm or the aura of Otsutsuki Ashura that was activated instantly, which successfully inspired all the restlessness. After seeing others abstaining, I was also thinking about whether to abstain. Next time candidates who come again. Even the atmosphere of the examination room changed instantly. Looking at each candidate with firm eyes, Morino Ibiki remained expressionless on the outside, but was full of wonder in his heart. Looking at Naruto's eyes, it was full of appreciation. So, Morinoi Hibiki's scarred face showed a rare smile that was still ferocious, but not as murderous as before, and said, Congratulations, you all passed the test. E.H. As soon as Morinoi Habiki said this, the audience exploded in an instant. Those examinees who were ready to face the tenth question that gambled on their future showed expressions of astonishment and bewilderment on their faces. Even Uchiha Sasuke is no exception. Only Yagayu and Gara remained unchanged. Yagayu already knew it, while Gara was wearing sand armor all over her body. No one knew what the expression was under the armor. The scene quickly became chaotic. Bang. Just when Morinoi Habiki had just explained the meaning of the exam, the examinees hadn't calmed down yet. The sound of Kanai breaking through the glass made them tense again. I saw Mitarashi Anko, the chief examiner of the second exam, who is also Kurinai Yuhi's best friend and a disciple of Orochimaru, appear on the stage in a very high-profile way, but Ibiki Morino's forehead is full of black lines. When Mitarashi Anko announced the time and place of the second exam, which will be at noon tomorrow at Konoha's 44th training ground, the first exam of this Chunin exam officially ended. After the show ended, classes 8 and 10, as well as little Sakura who left the team after saying hello to Naruto and Uchiha Sasuke, left the ninja school together. Along the way, the seven of them chatted about interesting things about the exam. Naruto, this guy actually handed in a blank paper. Ino Shika Cho and Sakura's eyes widened when they heard from Hinata that Naruto had handed over a blank sheet. Naruto, what an unexpected ninja, Aburame Shino sighed rarely. Uh-huh. As Naruto's teammate, little Sakura fully agrees. 
The location of the second exam is Konoha 44 Training Ground, also known as the Forest of Death. Yagayu reminded, if I remember correctly, the book says that the range of this forest is 10 kilometers. There are a lot of beasts and poisonous insects in it. It is one of the training grounds that is strictly prohibited from entering except under special circumstances. So when you go back tonight, prepare dry food and medicine to deal with poisonous insects. During the second exam, you may need to spend the night in the forest. I see. After listening to Yagayu's analysis, Inoshika Cho and Sakura nodded seriously. Akamichi Choji took the rare initiative and said, I'll prepare some military food pills for everyone tomorrow. Excuse me, Choji. Yagayu and others did not refuse Akamichi Choji's kindness. On their birthdays these years, and as a return gift a while ago, Akamichi Choji always gave them pills secretly made by the Akamiki clan. Being used to it, they were not polite to Akamichi Choji. Arriving at a familiar crossroads, the seven Yagayu people were divided into three groups, each going back to his own home. Yagayu did not go to Hanada's house, but returned to his own home. Even when Hanada came over to cook dinner for him, Yagayu didn't force her to stay overnight like before. Seeing that Yagayu did not stay, Hanada, who already knew that Yagayu would leave Konoha from time to time, had guessed that her future husband would secretly leave Konoha again tonight. And it is true. After Yagayu had dinner, he quietly left Konoha, then opened the world of Realm Ripple, and used real teleportation to go to Tanshu Street. In less than 10 minutes, Yagayu arrived at Tanshu Street and appeared out of thin air in Shangling's new home. These days, Yagayu comes here every night. The first is to help Shang Lu get familiar with the unfamiliar new environment so that she will not feel bored and lonely. The second is to see if Tsunade and Shizun will come to Tanshu Street in advance. Tanshu Street is a very famous commercial street in the Land of Fire. It is many times more prosperous than the small town where Shang Ling lived before. The night market is also countless times more lively than the previous town. Every night, Yagayu would go out on a date with Shang Phosphorus, or use the transformation technique to go to the casino to make some money. For Yagayu, who has a world with realms and ripples and can see everything through space, gambling is like having a clairvoyant eye, and he will win every bet. But money is just a number to Yagayu. He gambled not for money, but for fun. After playing with Shanglin all night, Yagayu returned to Konoha's house on time the next day. If it is not the real teleportation, which needs to be used in conjunction with the world of Domain Ripple, each teleportation is only one kilometer at most, but the fixed point teleportation like the Flying Thunder God technique, Yagayu can return home in an instant. However, if you choose between the real teleportation and the Flying Thunder God technique, Yagayu will still choose teleportation without any hesitation and can move freely within the specified range without any spells. Of course, Yagayu has not tried to develop the Flying Thunder God technique. But such a fixed point transmission, Yagayu is still at a loss. Once the spell of the Flying Thunder God technique is engraved, it is a non-six paths powerhouse, and it cannot be erased at all. Even if the performer dies, the permanent tattoo will still exist. And that technique must be due to the sealing technique. I just don't know whether to seal chakra in the spell, or seal the power of time and space, or both. Yagayu is not good at sealing techniques, and he is not in a hurry to develop fixed point teleportation. Since the second exam was at noon, Hanada did not wake up Yagayu at 8.30 today, but came at 9 o'clock with a nutritious meal. She came here with her, and Hanabi who is on vacation these days. Oni-chan, here are the clothes, rations and tents I packed for you. Let's work hard for today's exam. As soon as Yagayu came out of the wash, Hanabi trotted over barefoot, and handed a small storage scroll to Yagayu, as if asking for a compliment. Thanks Hanabi, it was a great help. Yagayu also gave rewards without hesitation. I saw that he didn't take the storage scroll, but directly hugged Hanabi, and kissed her face full of baby fat twice. We. Hanabi, whose face was covered with saliva, not only did not feel disgusted at all, but even smiled and pecked back a few times, and also smeared his saliva on Yagayu's face. The two came to the dining table in such a playful way, Hinata had already arranged the bento and went to tidy up Yagayu's room. After she helped Yagayu finish washing and cleaning, Yagayu also finished his breakfast. 
While it was still early, Yagayu took Hanabi and Hinata out for a walk. Along the way, they saw a lot of strange faces coming in and out of Konoha's pharmacy and other shops. The genin that was eliminated yesterday has basically left Konoha. Those remaining genins, apparently all candidates who passed the first exam, are preparing for the second exam. Seeing this atmosphere, Yagayu dismissed the idea of walking in Konoha. So on a whim, he directly took Hanada and Hanabi to a place where no one was around, and then opened the world of Domain Ripple, and took the pair of sisters to teleport away from Konoha to visit other commercial towns. Experienced the real teleportation for the first time, Hanada's small face flushed slightly, secretly looking at Yagayu's beautiful eyes, the admiration in the eyes shone like golden light. In just a few minutes, Yagayu led them across several small towns with a calm look on their faces, which is really amazing. But soon, Hanada's small mouth couldn't help pouting slightly, and her heart felt sour like it was a few years ago. Because she found that Hanabi was not excited at all, but got used to it. Obviously, Yagayu has brought Hanabi out like this before. Seriously. She is obviously Yagayu's future wife. If it weren't for Hanabi being five years younger than her, Hanada was really afraid that her sister would rob him of a man. After playing outside with Hanada and Hanabi for two hours, Yagayu just took them back to Konoha, and teleported back to Hanada's house. After patting Hanabi's little butt and asking her to go to the gym to train well, if she behaves well, I will take her to see the night market in another place another day, and Yagayu and Hanada will go to the old place to gather together. When Yagayu and Hanada came to the old place, Aburame Shino was waiting for them as expected. So, the 8th class walked towards Konoha No. 44 practice field. The Konoha 44 practice field, just like its number, has a total of 44 entrances. Go outside one of the entrances, where candidates gather. There, the invigilators have already set up tents, and many candidates are waiting for the exam to start. The 8th class has just found a place, and the 7th and 10th classes are also arriving one after another. Yagayu, this is for you. The 10th class took the initiative to find them. From a few meters away, Nara Shikamaru took out a storage scroll and threw it to Yagayu. Thanks. Yagayu who took the storage scroll knew that it contained military food pills and various medicines without looking at it. Not long after the rendezvous between the 8th and 10th classes, all the candidates who passed the first exam arrived. Mitarashi Anko, who was holding a three-color ball in his hand, also came out of the tent and explained the content and rules of the exam to all candidates. It may be the reason of, same romantic repulsion, Naruto looked at Mitarashi Anko, who was very similar to himself, so arrogant, he couldn't help imitating and provoking. As a result, he was educated miserably, left a lot of shadows, and realized the gap between himself and Jonan. Even if it's a special Jonan, it's not something he can handle. Orochimaru, who had already secretly dealt with Kusunan and used Kusunan's skin to infiltrate the candidates, also took advantage of Mitarashi Anko's education of Naruto to closely observe the changes in his disciples over the years. This pair of teachers and students who are good at playing snakes reunited after a long absence. With the end of the episode, candidates began to line up to enter the tent, and after signing their names on the death consent form each team received a scroll, which was also a task item for the second exam, the Book of Heaven and Earth. The scroll that Class 8 got was Book of the Earth. After receiving the Book of Heaven and Earth, the invigilators did not give the candidates a chance to unite, so they took the candidates who got the scrolls to the designated entrance. The exam time is 120 hours. After you gather the Book of Heaven and Earth, go to the central tower as quickly as possible. In this way, you will have a few days of rest, and you will have an advantage over other candidates. It may be that the three of Yagayu or Konoha Genin. After the proctor brought them to the designated entrance, he opened his mouth to ask. That's home field advantage. Chunin exam second exam extreme survival, officially started. When the exam time entered the final countdown, the voice of Mitarashi Anko was transmitted to the ears of candidates scattered at the 44 entrances through the radio. Immediately afterwards, the invigilators checked their watches and opened the iron gates that locked the entrance one after another. In an instant, the candidates at each entrance either rushed into the forest of death, trotted in, or walked in. The three of Yagayu are the last ones. 
Let's collect the Book of Heaven and Earth first, and then join Shikamaru and Little Sakura. Yagayu doesn't intend to compete with the Gara siblings for the first place to reach the central tower. In his eyes, the most important thing in this Chunin exam is the death of Sarutobi Hirazan, and the windmill that Konoha has stopped for many years turns again. As for whether he can become a Chunin, Yagayu doesn't care at all. After all, after Naruto and Uchiha Sasuke become six paths level powerhouses, they are just Genin and Rinan. So this Chunin exam is just a passing scene for Yagayu. Compared with the ranking, he intends to swipe the favor of Ino Shikacho and Little Sakura. They are all his future team members, and they are one of the few friends in this world who can talk. So, after Yagayu told his plan, he said to Hinata, Hinata, I leave it to you. Yes, white eyes, open. Hinata nodded in understanding, and then made a mudra with both hands, and the veins on both temples suddenly bulged. The black and white view of God immediately covered a radius of one kilometer. In less than ten seconds, Hinata found the target, and said, We are at two o'clock, and there is a group of people with scrolls that are the Book of Heaven. Very well, Hinata, you lead the way. Yes. Following behind Hinata for a moment, Yagayu secretly opened the world of Domain Ripple, looking for the traces of Class 7 and Orochimaru. Coincidentally, the entrance where the 7th class was located was not far from the 8th class, just within 1 kilometer. Likewise, Orochimaru is not far from the 8th class. The speed is so fast, and that look in the eyes is worthy of the legendary Sanin. Yagayu soon finds Orochimaru disguised as Kusanagi. There's no way, Orochimaru's teleportation speed is too fast. And that aura is definitely not comparable to that of the Black Hole Ya. Since Yagayu's perception is spatial perception, neither Class 7 nor Orochimaru, who is a cage-level strongman, is aware that he is being watched. Orochimaru, who was eager to imprint the curse of the sky on Uchiha Sasuke, did not follow the 7th squad for a while before acting. After finding Class 7, he immediately started a game of cat and mouse. At the same time, Class 8 also found their goal. Three uncles, can I trouble you to hand over the Book of Heaven in your hands? Looking at Rain Shinobi who was wearing a raincoat and a bamboo hat in broad daylight, Yagayu jokingly persuaded. After all, as the host, I don't want to kill you who are so old and come all the way from the land of rain to take the Chunin exam. Boy, what are you talking about? Don't be too arrogant, don't think that you are Konoha's ninjas, so you can underestimate us. Yagayu's words instantly angered the three rain shinobi. In that case, then, farewell. Seeing that the three rain shinobi refused to surrender, Yagayu didn't talk nonsense. As soon as the electric currents of ZZZ sounded, Yagayu used the half-finished teleportation, turning into a dazzling blue and white streamer, and flashed across the bodies of the three rain shinobi. Okay, so fast, Puchi. Yagayu's speed was so fast that both Hinata and Abarame Shino, and the three rain shinobi could sense the movement of his chakra, but the body couldn't react at all. Not to mention turning around, the three rain shinobi didn't even finish their words to lament Yagayu's speed, when a line of blood appeared on their necks, and then a blood arrow shot out. Ding. You killed the enemy and got 5% of the opponent's chakra. Ding. You killed the enemy and got 18% of the opponent's chakra. Ding. You killed the enemy and got 3% of the opponent's chakra. With the sound of three system prompts, Yagayu only felt a fleeting warm current in his body. And then, it's gone. With Yagayu's current amount of chakra, only by hunting Janin will there be a significant improvement. Like Chunin and Jenin, the energy converted from the percentage of chakra obtained from them, springs up from the body like drinking warm water. Warm, but not long-lasting. After instant killing the three rain shinobi, Yagayu took the Book of Heaven from them. Let's go, let's go to Shikamaru first. Yes. By the time the three rain shinobi were found, Squad 7 and Orochimaru had already left the white eyes in the field of perception. So neither Hanada nor Yagayu knew what was going on in the 7th class. Knowing that Yagayu from class 7 is not Orochimaru's opponent at all, he is not in a hurry to go to Sakura-chan immediately. Because he knew that little Sakura would be fine until the Toth trio came to the door. Compared to the present past, Yagayu is more inclined to go to the hero to save the beauty when the little Sakura is in danger. 
In this way, little Sakura, who has always admired and admired him so much, will definitely become his ultimate licking dog just like Shonglin. So instead of going back the same way, Yagayu walked in the opposite direction of the seventh class. With the cooperation of Bayan and Domain Ripple's world, Yagayu and Hinata quickly find the location of Inoshika Cho. At this time, Inoshika Cho also got the scrolls they needed, and gathered together the Book of Heaven and Earth. Forests are dangerous places for others. But for Inoshika Cho, it's a natural environmental advantage. Ino's heart turning technique is not only effective for humans, but also for animals. Turning technique with his heart, Ino used the body of an animal to eavesdrop on the conversations of other candidates. After making sure the candidates have the scrolls they need, Inoshika Cho use family secrets to coordinate with each other. Because of Yagayu, Ino has full confidence in Shikamaru who is the only one who can keep up with Yagayu's rhythm. Under Shikamaru's calculation, the group of candidates who were targeted by Ino Shika Cho was controlled by the shadow imitation technique before they could react, just like facing Yagayu's semi-finished teleportation. But Ino Shika Cho was too kind. Instead of killing each other, they just took each other's scrolls, but used Akamichi Choji's family pills to stun each other. And to prevent them from being killed by others, Ino Shika Cho also dragged them into the hollow of a big tree. As a good friend, Yagayu doesn't know how to evaluate them. Even if he said it, they wouldn't change it before they suffered a loss. Somebody is coming. Hide and wait, it's Yagayu and the others. Yagayu, this way. The tenth squad just hid the enemy and walked out of the tree hole, Ino said quickly as if he sensed something. Nara Shikamaru was very conscientious and immediately gave the order to retreat. However, when he saw an afterimage leaping over the treetops and approaching them in an instant, he couldn't help but heaved a sigh of relief, and said with a smile on his face. At this time Ino also saw Yagayu and Hinata and waved to them quickly. After the three of Yagayu appeared in front of them, Ino trotted over excitedly and asked, Yagayu, have you got all the scrolls? Well, it's all set. Yagayu nodded, looked at the scroll in Nara Shikamaru's hand, and said with a smile, since you all have it together, let's go find little Sakura and the others. Uh-huh. Regarding the invitation from Yagayu, Ino suddenly took away the captain's decision-making power and nodded repeatedly. Then let's help Naruto and the others. Nara Shikamaru also nodded. Therefore, the 8th class and the 10th class joined together temporarily, and we're going to find the 7th class. Because when Hinata just opened her eyes, the 7th class was within her perception range. So the 8th and 10th classes did not search aimlessly, but walked towards the entrance area where the 7th class was located under the guidance of Hinata. At this time, class 7 and Orochimaru were also over, and class 7 suffered a disastrous defeat. Because of the leak of Nine Tails Chakra, now as long as the mood is high, the characteristics of the demon fox will appear. Naruto, who has strengthened his strength, has won the five element seal of Orochimaru just like the original book, and his strength has become a real crane tail. He belongs to the weakest boy among the twelve Shaokyang. 1. And Uchiha Sasuke was planted by Orochimaru with the curse seal of the sky. The curse seal not only hosts Orochimaru's soul fragments, but also the natural energy transformed by Orochimaru. Naruto and Uchiha Sasuke, who were engraved with two different seals at the same time, fell into a coma at this time. Only little Sakura, who was not involved in the battle and was just a medical ninja, was not injured and was still awake. Little Sakura, who has been relying on Kakashi and Naruto during this time, suddenly felt great pressure. To prevent anyone passing by here from finding them, little Sakura could only fight back her fear, drag Naruto and Uchiha Sasuke into a tree hole, and use the medical ninjutsu given to her by Yagayu to help them heal their injuries. It is a pity that the injuries of the two are not on the surface, but in the inner and soul. With little Sakura's current medical ninjutsu attainments, they can't be awakened at all. So little Sakura could only pretend to be a tree hole, praying that no one would pass by here. Even if someone passes by, don't spot them. Little Sakura didn't know that Orochimaru had given orders to the Toth trio before leaving the Death Forest. And this order is for them to come and kill Uchiha Sasuke. Of course, Orochimaru is well aware that the Toth trio doesn't have this strength. He just wanted the Toss trio to be cannon fodder, to
to let Uchiha Sasuke feel the power of the curse of the sky, and then indulge in it. But his arrangement on the spur of the moment made little Sakura face the biggest test in his life. It was also the test of the original book that made little Sakura take the initiative to cut off her long hair, and began to slowly transform into, Brother Sakura. And in this life, little Sakura still faced this test. When the Toss Trio used throwing objects to destroy the camouflage of the tree hole. In order to prevent Naruto and Uchiha Sasuke from having an accident, little Sakura came out strong and chose to face the Toss Trio alone. Looking at the little Sakura, who is wearing a Changsam and has beautiful long pink hair, she looks like a pampered little girl. Jin, who has survived the harsh environment of Yinan village, is suddenly full of jealousy. Then after discovering that Uchiha Sasuke was in a coma, Kim took the initiative to tell Toss and Sasuke not to make a move, and to teach little Sakura a lesson by himself. And this battle is naturally one-sided for little Sakura. Except for medical ninjutsu, little Sakura only knows the basic three-body technique, and Kakashi has not taught them any elemental ninjutsu except for teaching the seventh class chakra control. Yes, Kakashi, who has copied thousands of ninjutsu, has not even taught class 7 self-defense a single C-level elemental ninjutsu in the past few months. Before becoming a teacher of Tsunade, little Sakura was a complete burden. But this burden, with the top chakra control talent in the ninja world, even without Tsunade as a teacher, he can still become a first-class medical ninja and illusion ninja with his talent, as well as a yin escape ninja who masters enchantment and sealing techniques, so that he will not be in danger. At that time, only Naruto and Uchiha Sasuke could be dragged down. But unfortunately, Kakashi didn't teach anything. If they are treated equally, that's fine. However, after the qualifiers for the third Chunin exam were over, within a month, Kakashi taught all of Shaoli's taijutsu copied by his Sharingan to Uchiha Sasuke, who was also copied by Sharingan, and also taught him lightning-style chakra nature transformation, and his signature ninjutsu lightning-style chidori. As for Naruto, he was thrown directly at the special Jonin Ebisu. Little Sakura ignored her even more. Even though Little Sakura had already been eliminated in the preliminaries, after the Chunin exam, he still didn't teach Naruto and Little Sakura anything. It wasn't until Uchiha Sasuke defected that he recommended Sakura Jr. to Tsunade, and Shippuden worked with Yamato to help Naruto develop the spiral shuriken. In Yagayu's view, Kakashi is just so eccentric. He doesn't even care about the teacher's son, and only has eyes on Jiyu's clan. So in Yagayu's eyes, among the three teachers who influenced Naruto's life, Kakashi is not even qualified to carry shoes for Jiraiya and Yumi no Aruka. Call out. Just when the little Sakura was beaten up by Jin Yidung, her long pink hair was pulled, and she finally decided to cut off her long hair. The converging sound of, ZZ, was suddenly transmitted to the ears of little Sakura and the trio of Toss. Jin subconsciously turned his head to the side, looking in the direction where the electric current sound came from. In the next second, a dazzling blue and white lightning suddenly magnified rapidly in her eyes. It was a figure that was moving at a high speed, and already had its own style in terms of instant body, surrounded by electric arcs. In just a split second, the figure appeared beside Jin like a flash. The palm that was also surrounded by electric arcs grabbed Jin's wrist. Click. Ah. With the sound of bone cracking, Jin's wrist suddenly felt severe pain flooding his whole body, and a miserable cry came from his mouth. The hand holding little Sakura's hair loosened uncontrollably. Boom. In the next second, Jin's body flew upside down. Lu. Yagayu. Looking at Yagayu who kicked the flying gold, and the little Sakura who was kneeling on the ground, I couldn't believe my eyes. Little Sakura, who had just made up her mind to cut off her long hair, remembered childhood memories, and it was that memory that made little Sakura choose to grow long hair. Because Yagayu suggested Hinata to grow long hair, Sakura and Ino thought that Yagayu liked girls with long hair, so they both secretly grew long hair. At the same time, little Sakura was also fantasizing about how great it would be if Yagayu appeared to save her at this moment. It is simply the hero in the novel who saves the beauty. But immediately, little Sakura couldn't help laughing at herself and envy again. How is this possible? I am not Hinata. And now, seeing Yagayu really appear, it was the moment when she decided to cut off her long hair. 
Little Sakura couldn't help biting her lower lip immediately, her eyes filled with mist. Don't worry, it's all right. Yagayu, the hero who saved the beauty, smiled softly at little Sakura and comforted her. It may be due to the positioning, or it may be the licking dog filter. The sunlight just passed through the gaps in the leaves and shone on Yagayu's body. Looking up at Yagayu, who was surrounded by electric arcs and had a stern demeanor, but only smiled gently at her. In the eyes of little Sakura, Yagayu seems to be emitting golden light at this moment. The heart that was secretly in love with Yagayu completely changed into the shape of Yagayu at this moment. Little Sakura, are you alright? At this time, Ino and Hinata also appeared next to little Sakura. As a best friend, Ino immediately squatted down to check the little Sakura's body. Hinata was more direct and immediately used healing jutsu to heal the bruise on little Sakura. I. I'm fine. Sneaking a peek at Hinata next to her, the little Sakura, who subconsciously wanted to hug Yagayu's thigh and cry bitterly to vent her grievances, immediately suppressed the impulse in her heart, shook her head and said. Chop the empty wave. While Ino and Hinata were taking care of the little Sakura, a voice suddenly came to their ears. After Toss and Sak saw Jin being knocked into the air, Chi Chi swung the air blade formed by ultrasonic waves towards the three daughters of the little Sakura. Yes, they attacked the little Sakura three daughters, not Yagayu who kicked Kim away. What a vile fellow. Nara Shikamaru, who arrived late with Akamichi Choji, suddenly changed his face. Water style water barrier. Yagayu appeared in front of Zan Kongbo in a flash, and used his only water style, which was also a B-level water style specially learned to deal with the lack of water at home. Water barrier is a water style ninjutsu that integrates offense and defense. The attack form is to spit out a waterfall-like water flow from the mouth, carrying the impact of water, and washing away all the enemies and objects in front of you. Defense is to turn all the surrounding air moisture into water flow, the strong will form a water spout with shocking impact, while the weak can only erect a water wall to protect themselves. The water barrier used by Yagayu is naturally a rapidly rotating water spout. The water spout is not too big, but it is enough to protect Yagayu and the three Hanada girls behind him. After the two large blades collided with the water spout, it was like a stone falling into the water, and they could only splash a circle of moderate ripples. After using the water barrier to block the air blade, Yagayu did not cancel it. Instead, he formed seals with both hands to convert more water into water flow, and at the same time controlled the water spout to shrink, getting higher and smaller. In the end, the water spout turned from defense to offense and turned into a waterfall of water, slapping down towards Toss and Sack. Get out of the way. Looking at Yagayu, who was able to create such an amazing water flow in an anhydrous environment, Toss and Sack suddenly changed their expressions. Then he dodged without hesitation, and appeared beside Jin who was lying on the ground screaming in pain after being kicked. After helping his companion, he immediately fled away. None of the combined air blades can break the opponent's water style, and there are descendants of the famous Inoshika Cho. If these two teams joined forces, the three of them would definitely not be rivals. So Toss, like the original book, chose to temporarily give up the task of killing Uchiha Sasuke without hesitation, wait until the next exam, and then slowly look for opportunities to do it. Seeing that the trio of Toss chose to flee, Yagayu did not chase them down. Anyway, these three unlucky ones are destined to die. Even if he doesn't die in the next exam, he will become a sacrifice for Orochimaru to use for impure world reincarnation. Little Sakura, who beat you like this? At this moment, a cold voice suddenly entered the ears of Yagayu and others. Looking in the direction of the sound, I saw a figure slowly walking out of the shadow of the tree hole. Seeing this figure, whether it is Inoshika Cho or Abarame Shino and Hinata, even little Sakura is heartbroken. Sasuke. Little Sakura made a strange sound. It's no wonder she said that, it's really the way Uchiha Sasuke is now, too evil and too strange. I saw that half of Uchiha Sasuke's face and neck, and maybe even the body under the clothes, are covered with black tadpole-shaped runes. The whole body is filled with substantive purple chakra flames. The purple chakra arrogance, Inoshika Cho they saw for the first time. I have never seen Naruto break out the little Sakura of Nine Tails Chakra, and it is also the first time I have seen it. Against the backdrop of the purple chakra arrogance and the scarlet two-tomo Sharingan, 
Uchiha Sasuke's current aura is full of evil and cold just like his title of aloof male god. More importantly, Uchiha Sasuke was asking if little Sakura was okay, but his eyes were always on Yagayu. The undisguised fighting spirit made the little Sakura quickly say, Sasuke, I'm fine, the enemy has been beaten away by Yagayu. You're wrong, little Sakura. Uchiha Sasuke showed a slightly ferocious smile, and said, in this exam, no matter it is the genin of other ninja villages or the genin of Konoha, they are our enemies. Hey, are you crazy? Hearing this, Ino immediately said in dissatisfaction, we are here to help you, it's fine if you don't thank me, but you still say such things. We don't need your help, and we will be fine. Uchiha Sasuke, who is now full of negative emotions, once again uttered words that made little Sakura very strange, and even dissatisfied with him. Uchiha Sasuke, who only felt that he was stronger than ever, stared at Yagayu without blinking, and said, Yagayu, let's have a scroll battle. You are not in a very good condition now. Let's talk about it after the next exam. It was clearly a sentence, but it was transmitted to Uchiha Sasuke's ears from the front and the back respectively. Uchiha Sasuke, who had an evil smile on his face, became sluggish with naked eyes. Like him, there are also Ino Shika Cho and Little Sakura, all of them opened their mouths uncontrollably, staring blankly at Yagayu who appeared behind Uchiha Sasuke at some point. No trace of lightning. Is this Yagayu's true speed? Even Aburame Shino, who is standing on a tree and can assassinate others with parasites at any time, his eyes under the sunglasses are full of shock. Yes, no trace of lightning. Yagayu's teleportation is not a semi-finished teleportation, but a real space teleportation. In order to hit the inflated Urzuzi, Yagayu directly used real teleportation, extinguishing the opponent's arrogance. Based on their knowledge, they would never have imagined that Yagayu's instant body is the legendary ninjutsu of time and space. No. Impossible. Uchiha Sasuke, who couldn't catch a trace of the Sharingan, turned around with a look of disbelief. But at this time, a strong sense of weakness hit the whole body without saying hello, and the curse mark on Uchiha Sasuke's face slowly faded away, Sharingan also recovered his normal eyes, and the whole person fainted on the ground. Little Sakura, what happened to this guy just now? Looking at Uchiha Sasuke who fell on the ground, Ino asked Little Sakura with a puzzled face, could it be that your team encountered any accident? Well, we met the legendary ninja. Little Sakura nodded, and told Yagayu and others all about their encounter with Orochimaru who was pretending to be Kusanagi. Hiss, it turned out to be the legendary Sanin. Except for Yagayu and Aburame Shino, the Ino people including Hanada had expressions of horror on their faces. Ino gasped even more, and thankfully said, it's really lucky that you didn't die. It's really lucky to be able to survive meeting such a big man, but. Nara Shikamaru first nodded in agreement, then looked at Uchiha Sasuke on the ground and said, this also shows that Orochimaru did not suddenly appear here, but returned to Konoha for Sasuke, even lowering his profile pretending to be a normal genin. After finishing speaking, Nara Shikamaru pointed to the heavenly curse seal on Uchiha Sasuke's neck and asked little Sakura, aside from Sasuke, does Naruto have such a curse seal? No. Little Sakura shook her head. Then Orochimaru's purpose should be to plant this curse seal on Sasuke's neck. Nara Shikamaru squeezed his chin and said, the form just now, and the evil purple chakra, this spell can obviously enhance people's strength. But it's impossible for Orochimaru to come all the way back to Konoha from the outside and sneak into the Chunin exam just to give Sasuke such a gift that can enhance his strength. So, what secrets are hidden in this curse seal? Due to insufficient information, Nara Shikamaru can only analyze here. Carry Sasuke back into the tree hole first, and talk about it after he and Naruto wake up. Yagayu did not speak, but said to Akamichi Choji, Choji, please help me. Good. Yagayu and Akamichi Choji grabbed Uchiha Sasuke's hands and feet respectively, and lifted him back into the tree hole. Next, classes 8 and 10 did not leave immediately, but sat outside the tree hole, eating dry food prepared in advance while waiting for Naruto and Uchiha Sasuke to wake up. Ino and Hinata continued to comfort little Sakura, looking at their best friend with eyes filled with pity. First, he encounters the legendary Sanin, who is teetering on the edge of death at any time. After that, 
she was beaten violently by the enemy, and little Sakura was hurt both mentally and physically. But they didn't know that little Sakura didn't have any fear or fear in her heart at this time. Now the mind of this ultimate dog liquor is filled with images of Yagayu Hiro saving the beauty. His head, which had been hanging down, was raised from time to time, peeking at Yagayu who was chatting with Nara Shikamaru. It hurts so much. Sasuke, are you okay? HMPH, take care of yourself first, Cranitale. I don't know how long it took, but the sound of bickering came from the tree hole. Hearing this sound, Yagayu and others knew that Naruto and Uchiha Sasuke had finally woken up. It was already dark at this time. In front of Yagayu and others, a bonfire was also set up with wild boar meat on top. Yagayu specially went hunting with Nara Shikamaru when he and Nara Shikamaru had time. E.H. Yagayu, Shikamaru, why are you here? Not long after, Naruto found Yagayu and the others and said with a surprised look on his face. Don't talk so much, come here and have something to eat first. Yagayu didn't answer, but waved to Naruto. Looking at Uchiha Sasuke who was standing behind Naruto, with his arms folded but his eyes a little evasive, obviously still remembering what happened just now, Yagayu only felt a little funny, and then said, Sasuke, come over and have something to eat. Quote. Great, I happen to be hungry. Naruto trotted over with drooling at the corners of his mouth. Uchiha Sasuke didn't say proudly that he didn't want to eat, but followed silently. Soon, three girls and six boys were divided into three groups and sat on three wooden pillars, forming a triangle around a bonfire with a wild boar. Sasuke, how are you doing now? While the nine young men were eating barbecue in silence, Nara Shikamaru took the initiative to break the atmosphere, looked at Uchiha Sasuke and asked. Except for a little pain in my neck, I'm fine. Uchiha Sasuke shook his head, then looked at Yagayu and said, I'm sorry about what happened during the day. Seeing Uchiha Sasuke taking the initiative to apologize, Yagayu also smiled and said, Don't worry, we have been classmates for six years, and we know each other's character very well. But you'd better use that power less now, otherwise if you are full of negative emotions, it may accidentally affect your companions. Yagayu reminded. Um. Uchiha Sasuke nodded silently, but stared at the burning bonfire, not knowing what he was thinking. What? What are you talking about? Naruto, whose mouth was full of oil like Akamichi Choji, was the only confused person in the audience. It's okay, just eat your barbecue. Little Sakura said. She didn't seem to want to tell Naruto what happened during the day, lest it affect their companionship. Now that Naruto and Sasuke are awake, it's time for us to go. After eating the barbecue, Yagayu stood up and said goodbye. After all, we are all enemies now. Let's talk after we get to the central tower. Well, then let's disband where we are. Nara Shikamaru nodded. Thank you, Yagayu. At this time, little Sakura suddenly plucked up the courage to walk up to Yagayu and express her gratitude to him. You're welcome, we're all friends. Taking advantage of his absolute height advantage, Yagayu performed a headbutt kill on little Sakura, and then deliberately ignored Ino's slightly pouted gaze and nodded to Hinata and Abarame Shino. The next second, Yagayu and the other three turned into afterimages and disappeared. After being separated from classes 7 and 10, class 8 did not find a place to camp, but flew under the night and rushed to the central tower as quickly as possible. Hinata, who has Byakugan, is able to avoid all enemies. Yagayu also has no interest in hunting the candidates of the Death Forest. With his current chakra amount, other than killing Naruto, Gara or Yakushi Kabuto, even if he kills all the candidates, the chakra amount will not increase much. Although the 8th class came to the central tower, it was already night. But when they came in, there were still Chunin level proctors on duty. The invigilator was not at all surprised by the arrival of the 8th class. Compared with the arrival time of the three Gara siblings, the speed of class 8 can only be regarded as average, and even in the previous Chunin exams, it is not outstanding. After the 8th class arrived at the central tower, the invigilator gave them two choices. One is to choose to stay in the central tower, and they will be provided with dormitories and three free meals until the end of the second exam. The second is to choose to leave the central tower. There will be a teleportation array similar to the reverse summoning technique to teleport them outside the death forest. 
However, if you choose the second option, you must step back to the central tower, otherwise it will be considered as a waiver if the time exceeds. In this regard, Yagayu directly chose the second option. In his home stadium, he had no interest in staying in the central tower for a few days. Seeing Yagayu choose this way, Hinata and Abarame Shino also chose the second option. Therefore, Class 8 was taken to a room with a teleportation array engraved on it by the Invigilator, and they cooperated with the Invigilator outside the Death Forest to teleport Class 8 out. After coming out, Class 8 disbanded on the spot. Yagayu did not go to Hinata's home, but took Hinata back to his home. In the next few days, Yagayu plans to spend some time alone with Hinata. Hinata has mastered all the family secrets that she needs to learn. In this life, she did not hide the attribute of the Big Stomach King. Even if she didn't like fighting and training, her strength was far better than that of her original self. After all, the large size of chakra means that it can be squandered at will. And within a few days, it is impossible to undo the growth. On the contrary, in the name of exams, there are very few days when you don't need to go home. So Yagayu took Hanada home and took Hanada to the bathroom to take a bath together. After drying her hair and changing into new clothes, Yagayu took Hanada and teleported away from Konoha and headed to various famous commercial towns in the ninja world. Make it up to this future wife. After all, compared to Hanabi, Yagayu does give Hanada a little less doting. Therefore, Yagayu decided to take Hanada out on a date. In the next few days, Yagayu took Hanada everywhere to experience a life that a wealthy daughter could never experience. For example, in the casino where Yagayu must go to make money, let Hanada use the transformation technique to disguise her eyes without rolling her eyes at the same time, so as to try out the racing heartbeat of gambling. Then Yagayu was surprised to find that Hanada seemed to be favored by the goddess of luck just like Ran, the Shinigami Elementary School student next door. Obviously there is no cheating, but when playing big or small, I can guess correctly every time, and I have a 100% winning rate. Tsunade would be very jealous after seeing such luck. Since Yagayu and Hinata used the transformation technique to disguise themselves, people in the casino couldn't even detect that they were ninjas. So Hinata, who was determined to win every bet, experienced the feeling of being hunted again after leaving the casino. In order to let Hinata experience the excitement of ordinary people, Yagayu asked her to deal with the enemy by herself. Perhaps out of embarrassment, Hinata did not kill them, but just used acupuncture to knock down the gangsters who were chasing them. Yagayu didn't accuse her either. But then, Yagayu took Hinata to the black market to let her experience the feeling of a bounty hunter. In fact, the last time Yagayu and Yuhi Hong went to the black market to exchange the bounty, it was not the first time Yagayu went to the black market. After the Uchiha genocide, Yagayu would leave Konoha every holiday to hunt people with chakra and rob gangsters to make some money. During a robbery of Fuji himself, Yagayu accidentally learned the location of the black market from a gang member, and then started working part-time as a bounty hunter. In the past few years, many strong men have become ghosts killed by Guiwei's sword. However, every time Yagayu goes to the black market, he uses transformation technique to change his appearance, so he is not famous in the black market. This time, Yagayu and Hinata also entered the black market as newcomers. After casually accepting a mission and receiving basic information from the client, Yagayu used teleportation to take Hinata to assassinate the target. Hinata, who was a bounty hunter for the first time, felt her heart beat faster. This is caused by excitement and excitement. But it's not the first time to experience bounty hunting, nor is it the first time to assassinate others. But she finally knew what Yagayu was doing when he always left Konoha secretly. She finally got closer to her future husband and got to know him better. In the past few days, Yagayu's different dating methods have successfully made his and Hinata's relationship warm up again. When the second exam was over for more than four days, there was still the last hour left. Yagayu finally took Hinata back to Konoha and met Abarame Shino at the old place. Then Class 8 came to the outside of the Death Forest, and with the help of the Invigilator, teleported back to the Central Tower. When they walked out of the teleportation room and came to the reception hall, many candidates had already arrived at the Central Tower. 
However, compared with the glamorous class 8 and the three Gara sisters who were already sitting on a bench, these people looked a little embarrassed. Some of them were covered with bandages, and their clothes even had bloodline on them. It can be seen that their journey to the central tower was not easy. After seeing class 8 come out, some candidates who did not recognize them looked at them with hostility and fear. Even the three Gara siblings looked at them appraising L.Y. Being so cleanly dressed and without any bandages on their bodies not only meant that they were among the first to arrive at the central tower, it was also a symbol of strength. After all, except for the three siblings, the other candidates were more or less injured. Even Yakushi Kabuto deliberately faked his injury to facilitate the subsequent abstention. Therefore, it is no wonder that Class 8 has become one of the most watched teams in the field just after it came out. Ignoring the looks of these people, the three Yagayu came to Ino Shika Cho. Looking at Nara Shikamaru and Akamichi Choji with some bandages on their bodies, Yagayu asked in confusion, what's going on with you? Haven't you already collected the scrolls? Why are you still injured? Faced with Yagayu's three consecutive questions, Nara Shikamaru said helplessly, forget it, we were careless at night and were attacked by a group of ninjas who were good at invisibility. Be careful in the future and don't cause your companions to lose their lives because of unnecessary kindness. Yagayu finally took this opportunity to tell him. Um. Nara Shikamaru nodded, not sure if he heard it. Soon, the 120 hours of the second exam were completely completed, which also announced the end of the second exam. All candidates, come with me. Mitarashi Anko's figure appeared in an instant, leading all the candidates out of the reception hall where they were resting, and to the venue of the central tower, which was also the venue for the third exam preliminaries. As soon as they arrived at the venue, Yagayu and others saw their instructor Jonan in the stands on the second floor. Also, there is Third Hokage. Just like the original work, Third Hokage begins to talk about the purpose of the Chunin exam held by the Great Powers, paving the way for the subsequent third exam preliminaries. Not every Chunin exam will have preliminaries. The reason why there will be qualifiers this time is because of Naruto's unexpected performance in the first test. If it weren't for Naruto, the qualifiers might not exist. But Naruto's performance allowed many more candidates to pass the first exam than expected. Although the candidates who passed the second exam are no different from those in Yagayu's impression, there are only three more people than in the original book, which is the twelfth class where Inazuka Kiba belongs. But the total number of these candidates still reached 24. If it were a formal competition, the 24 people would be divided into 12 groups, and it would take many games to decide the champion. Moreover, many of the 24 candidates relied on the strength of their companions to pass the second exam. If they go to the central tower alone, these O2 candidates with average strength will most likely be eliminated. The official competition of the third examination is not a team competition, but an exhibition competition and display of national strength for nobles and commoners from all over the country. If weak ninjas are allowed to fight each other on the stage, it may have the opposite effect. Therefore, the qualifiers exist. It sounds better called the qualifiers, but in fact it is the elimination of the weak. Ahem, if there are no problems, random matching will begin. The candidates whose names are displayed on the screen will stay. Other candidates please go to the stands on the second floor to wait and watch. 1. After Serutobi Hirazan finished his speech, Gekko Hayate also took over from Mitarashi Anko and appeared in front of all the candidates to announce the start of the qualifying round. Wait. I choose to abstain. Just when everyone was waiting, Yukushi Kabuto's voice suddenly attracted everyone's attention. Yukushi Kabuto, who was disguised and covered with a lot of bandages, stood up and said harmlessly, my injury is a bit too severe, I may not be able to compete. I understand, you can choose to leave, or go to the second floor to watch the game. Moonlight Hayate nodded, then crossed out Yakushi Kabuto's name with a pen, and said, because someone abstained, there are only 23 of you left. In the next random match, there will be one lucky person who gets a bye. Yakushi Kabuto's abstention attracted the attention of the audience. It also attracted the attention of Serutobi Hirazan. After a simple inquiry, Serutobi Hirazan learned that the other party had participated in the Chunin exam several times, and was eliminated or eliminated at the last moment. He immediately asked his people to investigate Yakushi Kabuto. 
In this regard, Yakushi Kabuto, who abstained from the qualifiers for the first time and has always lost deliberately in the past, did not care at all. Because this Chunin exam is already his last time undercover. After Master Orochimaru's plan is completed, he will also leave the village where he has lived for many years. Due to the arrival of Yagayu, Naruto, who was not familiar with Yakushi Kabuto, did not try to retain him as in the original work. In this way, Yakushi Kabuto left the central tower non-existently on the grounds of going back to heal his injuries. At this time, the big screen hanging on the wall also started to light up. Then the names of the 23 candidates are all arranged on the top. The third exam preliminaries for the Chunin exam, have officially begun. With the sound of the moonlight blast, the 23 names on the screen slowly disappeared, and a big BS was displayed instead. On the left and right sides of the BS, the names of 23 candidates began to flash at a dizzying speed. Many weak candidates looked at the big screen holding their breath. Only the candidates with strong strength showed indifference. A few seconds later, the two names were frozen on the left and right sides of verses. Seeing these two names, Yagayu's face was slightly surprised. Because the list of the first duel, remarkably, is Yagayu B$2 stand. This match was beyond Yagayu's expectation. Having read the original book, he is very clear that the matching of this qualifier was actually done in secret. This can be seen from the first game Uchiha Sasuke vs Red Copper Armor, and Hinata vs Hayuga Neji. Uchiha Sasuke was matched to the first duel, and he was the one who needed to seal the heavenly seal. Hinata vs Hayuga Neji is Sarutobi Hirazan who wants to see the strength of this generation of Yushang clan clan and branch house. Therefore, Yagayu had already made preparations to go up to the stands on the second floor after the match. Unexpectedly, the first duel was not Uchiha Sasuke vs. Copper Armor, but Yagayu vs. Toss Anvil. Yagayu didn't know that there was indeed a behind-the-scenes operation in this qualifying match. But his arrival caused the original history to change. For example, Little Sakura mastered medical ninjutsu in advance, and Uchiha Sasuke's injuries have recovered. Although the curse seal still makes his body very uncomfortable, it is still within the tolerable range. Therefore, Kakashi did not ask Sarutobi Hirazan and let the people below operate in secret. This is how the current, butterfly storm, came about. Yagayu, come on. Yagayu, beat that guy away and give little Sakura a good breath. After the first match came out, the candidates walked onto the earth building stands one after another. When passing by Yagayu, little Sakura and Ino cheered to Yagayu. Hinata surprisingly said nothing. Because she knew that Yagayu would not be in any danger and that he would definitely win this battle. Soon, only Yagayu, Toss, and Moonlight Blast were left on the field. Looking at Yagayu opposite, Toss, whose head was covered with bandages and only one left eye was exposed, was full of fear. He has not forgotten Yagayu's lightning-like teleportation, and the water style that blocked his and Sark's joint attack. 973 and after investigation, he also knew Yagayu's identity. He has been the chief student for six consecutive years, outperforming all the other major ninja clans. This guy is definitely a strong enemy. However, Toss did not feel intimidated, let alone have the idea of abstaining. The reason why he retreated without hesitation that day was that his side could not be the opponent of the other party and the new generation Inoshika Cho. But one-on-one, -on -one, whether it is this Yagayu or Uchiha Sasuke, he will not be afraid at all. But when Moonlight Gale announced the start of the first duel, Toss's only exposed left eye suddenly widened. His eyes were as wide as his, and those next to him were Moonlight Hayate, as well as the teachers and students in the stands on the second floor, even Orochimaru who was pretending to be the instructor for Jonan, and Serutobi Hirazan, one of the five cages. Thunder Spear. I saw that Yagayu didn't talk nonsense at all, and directly used the illusion-type golden binding technique to immobilize Toss's body. Then he raised his right hand, and the dazzling blue and white current covered the entire palm. A blue-white lightning gun shot out from Yagayu's palm at the speed of lightning. Phew. Puff. In an instant, the lightning bolt penetrated Toss's body. The terrifying power even knocked it away and nailed it to the wall. The beginning was the end. Toss, the strongest among the sound ninja trio, was instantly killed by Yagayu. 
Yagayu's exposure of the Chidori spear also shocked the audience. Then, what ninjutsu is that? Mew. Muji ninjutsu, and it's still Muji lightning style. It's amazing nature transformation, no, it's amazing nature transformation and shape change. Which ninja clan is this brat descended from? To master such amazing nature transformation and form changes at such a young age, and to develop Muji ninjutsu. Konoha is truly a dazzling genius. Looking at Yagayu who killed Toss in one move and nailed it to the wall, the guide Jonan on the second floor stand said one by one with expressions of surprise. Even Kakashi did not hesitate to pull up the forehead protector, revealing the three Tomo Sharingan presented by Uchiha Obito, staring at the lightning gun in Yagayu's hand, shocked and surprised, this nature transformation and form change, has surpassed Chidori, and is at the same level as my Reikiri. In other words, this is Chidori's other extension technique. Maybe I can also develop it like this. The last sentence, Kakashi secretly said in his heart. He didn't know that this move was indeed Chidori's extended skill. If the name Chidori Sharp Gun was not too sensitive and would be associated with Kakashi's famous Chidori, Yagayu would not have named this move Thunder Gun. However, compared with Chidori, Thunder Spear is indeed a bit more domineering. So, is this his true strength? Uchiha Sasuke whispered slightly, his expression full of unwillingness. This kind of lightning style, and the instant body that even Sharingan can't capture the slightest trace. Uchiha Sasuke has to admit that he is still no match for Yagayu. What made him feel ashamed was that these abilities of Yagayu could not have been cultivated in these few months. In other words, he has been hiding his strength all these years. In other words, he couldn't force him to show his true strength at all, and he didn't take himself seriously at all. This feeling of suffocation made Uchiha Sasuke develop a obsession with Yagayu similar to the original Naruto's obsession with him. He must defeat Yagayu and let Yagayu realize the power of Uchiha. And this obsession is destined to make Uchiha Sasuke even more obsessed with power. He was just one step away from a bigger blow, and this genius was about to begin to turn dark. I didn't expect that in this class, besides Sasuke and Minato's sons, there would be such an outstanding new generation. Even Orochimaru, ACEE, who pretended to be the instructor of Jonan, was looking at Yagayu at this time, but he said regretfully in his heart, it's a pity, he doesn't have the limit of blood inheritance. After all, he is just a civilian genius. Quote, in Orochimaru's eyes, the road of ninja for ordinary people has an end, and the person at this end is his idol second Hokage. Although second Hokage also has the sage body of the Senju clan. Even second Hokage, who invented so many forbidden techniques, cannot become a legend like first Hokage and Uchiha Madara who suppressed the entire ninja world by one person. It can be seen that only the blood succession can become the pinnacle of the ninja world. For example, Wood Style who calmed down the troubled times, or Rinnegan who was the leader of the Akatsuki organization, and Sharingan. Speaking of Sharingan, the legendary ninja Uchiha Madara comes to Orochimaru's mind, as well as the figure of Uchiha Itachi who killed him with one glance even though he was only a teenager. This was one of the reasons why he returned to Konoha. In Orochimaru's eyes, only the owners of the rare blood succession realm are worthy of becoming his reincarnation backup. A civilian genius like Yagayu is not worthy of being engraved with the curse seal of heaven. After all, every heavenly curse seal contains fragments of Orochimaru's soul. Yagayu didn't know Orochimaru's disdain, for him, otherwise, he would definitely smile with disdain and mock him for not overestimating his abilities. Examiner, can you announce the results? After putting away the thunder gun that pinned Toss to the wall, Yagayu looked at Moonlight Hayate, who had a dull look on his face, and asked. Cough 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 cough, wait a moment. The consumptive ghost, Moonlight Hayate, who was in a state of shock, couldn't take a breath. After coughing suddenly, he quickly came to Tasa's side to check his condition. But the next second, Moonlight Hayate stood up again, coughing, and said, Ahem, cough, cough. The Toss player is dead, and the winner of this battle is Yagayu. Dead, dead. I don't know how others will react after hearing this result. But little Sakura and Ino's pupils shrank. Immediately, little Sakura looked at Yagayu with a look that was so crazy. Obviously, this nymphomaniac started to fantasize and conquer himself again. 
thinking that Yagayu killed the other party to avenge her. Yagayu, he is actually willing to kill for himself. When she thought of this, little Sakura shivered with excitement and her body temperature rose rapidly. Even she herself realized that her face was getting hot and must have turned red at this time. Little Sakura quickly lowered her head for fear of being discovered. But then, he looked up several times and secretly looked at Yagayu who was slowly coming up. The heart that was slowly turning into the shape of Yagayu was completely captured. Even if Yagayu confesses his love to her now and asks her to be his little one or his hidden lover, little Sakura might agree without hesitation and even roll around in excitement. Yagayu doesn't know what little Sakura is thinking, otherwise he would burst out laughing. But this time her fantasy was right. Yagayu killed Toss easily, and indeed he had a reason to avenge her. Yagayu was originally not interested in the Toss trio, after all, they were bound to die. But he didn't expect that Butterfly Storm would appear and match him with Toss, so Yagayu would naturally not let him go. As Sarutobi Hiruzen's death draws closer, Yagayu feels it's time to show off his strength. In this way, after Tsunade takes office, his evaluation will be higher. When Sarutobi Hiruzen ruled Konoha, Yagayu would still be a little wary. After all, he hated playing tricks with Lao Yin. If you kill them, they will become the target of public criticism and will be unable to live in Konoha. Even if he suppresses them with absolutely powerful force, Yagayu will still receive all kinds of strange looks while living in Konoha. This is not what Yagayu wants. Therefore, he is willing to wait until Sarutobi Hiruzen dies and Tsunade takes office before slowly showing his power. In this way, he can not only get attention and marry Hanada in the future, but he can also live in Konoha like a normal person and will not be treated like Uchiha Madara. This is Yagayu's plan. Well done, Yagayu, you look so handsome just now. Although the method is a bit cruel, the move just now was really cool. You guy, you have really been hiding your strength in the past few years. Yagayu, here's a bag of potato chips for you. After Yagayu came up to the stands on the second floor, his friends, led by Ino Shikacho, immediately gathered around. Ino, who was enthusiastic and proactive, jumped directly onto Yagayu's back just like she did in the first exam. I don't know if she was really excited or just trying to take advantage of him. Nara Shikamaru patted Yagayu and sighed sincerely. Akamichi Choji was more direct and took out a bag of potato chips and handed it to Yagayu. Only true friends can get snacks from Akamichi Choji. Standing behind Ino Shika Cho, Hinata and little Sakura, one with a smile on his face, and the other with flushed cheeks, lowered their heads and did not dare to look directly at Yagayu, only daring to look at Yagayu secretly. Let's talk after the exam is over, don't disturb others. Seeing everyone in the room turning their attention, Yagayu quickly pulled Ino down and said helplessly. Immediately, Yagayu, Ino Shika Cho and others returned to Yuhi Hong and Sarutobi Asuma, who were not far away. Is that Muji Lightning style your trump card? Looking at Yagayu standing next to her, Yuhi Hong suddenly asked in a low voice. You guess. Yagayu did not answer, but blinked her red eyes, which were as beautiful as Yuhi Hong, and asked with a smile. You fool. Yuhi Hong only felt that her pink fist was hard again. But since she no longer had the majesty of a teacher in front of Yagayu, Yuhi Hong could only endure it again and again, and finally chose to endure the humiliation and bear the burden. If there is a female ninja god in this world, it must be her. At this moment, the candidates for the second battle were already matched. Seeing the name on the screen, Yagayu finally regained that sense of familiarity. I saw that the candidate for the second battle was Uchiha Sasuke versus Red Copper Armor. This Chunin exam seems to involve many countries, with Konoha showing its national strength to the allied powers and some small ninja villages. But in fact, this Chunin exam is a three-way game between Konoha, San Shinobi Village, and Shunin Village. The other ninja villages were just here for a formality. Don't you see, most of the 24 candidates who passed the second exam are genins from Konoha, and the rest are genins from San Shinobi Village and Yinrin Village. On the surface, there are only the three Gara siblings in San Shinobi Village, and there are only the Toss trio in Sound Ninja Village. However, Yagayu knew that Red Copper Armor and Kenmaikum, who were in the same team as Yakushi Kabuto, were undercover agents placed by Orochimaru and Konoha. Now, 
Red copper armor can match Uchiha Sasuke. In addition to Serutobi Hiruzen's secret operation, Jia Ding also has Orochimaru's pen. Both master and apprentice have their own ideas. The former wanted to end Uchiha Sasuke's battle as soon as possible and asked Kakashi to take him down to seal the curse seal of the sky. The latter wanted the red copper armor to force Uchiha Sasuke to see if he could use the power of the heavenly curse seal. If you use the curse seal of heaven, it will be easier for Orochimaru to collect data and take away Uchiha Sasuke when he finds an opportunity. And the result of this battle is not too different from the original book, Uchiha Sasuke won. It's just different from the difficult victory in the original book. In this life, because Shao Sakura has mastered medical ninjutsu in advance, he is in good condition now, and even Uchiha Sasuke who can open Sharingan for a while, with his amazing insight ability, and copied from Shao Li Taijutsu, easily defeated the red copper armor with chakra absorption ability. The next few battles are not much different from the original. The third fight was Abarame Shino vs Zack. Under Yagayu's command, Abarame Shino took a, spicy, shot, and used parasites to penetrate into Sak's body through the nozzle that releases sound waves, not only cannibalizing Sak's chakra, but also making him roll all over the floor. What's even more frightening is that unless Abarame Shino takes the initiative to remove the parasites, or a medical ninja with superb medical skills removes the parasites in the body through surgery, Sak will be tortured by the parasites every day in the future, and chakra will become very rare. In the future, if he releases a sound wave ninjutsu, his chakra may be exhausted, which is simply a super enhanced version of Kakashi. However, his pain was short-lived. If there were no accidents, Sak would have the last month of life left. The fourth battle was Kunkuro vs Jien Maikung. Jien Maikung was severely injured by Kunkuro's puppet crow's winding, and was eliminated. The fifth battle is Tiantian vs Tamari, which is one-sided without any suspense. The original book is also this battle, letting Yagayu know how deadly attribute restraint is. Tiantian's ninja tools seem to be endless, but no matter how many ninja tools she throws out, and how sharp the ninja tools are, they are vulnerable in front of wind style, and will be blown back to hurt herself. In this battle, Tamari also won an overwhelming victory. But starting from the sixth battle, the qualifiers became different from the original. Because Ino and little Sakura didn't meet, but Ino met a girl from the 12th class where Inazuka Fang was, a girl with no surname, named Yumiko. Most of the civilians in this world do not have a surname. Because there were too many wars in the Sengoku period, even if some people had surnames in their ancestors, they might have been lost or discarded. Only ninjas and nobles who have survived from the Sengoku period to the present, or some lucky families, will have a surname. So in this world, a person without a surname does not mean that he is a commoner, and his ancestors may be very brilliant, such as Nagato. But most of the people with surnames are ninjas or nobles with background. Facing Ino, who has a surname and a family background, Yumiko has no power to fight back and was easily eliminated by Ino. In the seventh battle, the corner of Yagayu's mouth twitched slightly. Because of the seventh battle, it was Hayuga Hanada vs Haruno Sakura. Seeing that she was matched with Hanada, little Sakura's small face suddenly lightened, and she felt an inexplicable sense of horror in her heart. As one of Hanada's girlfriends, but secretly in love with the other's childhood sweetheart, Little Sakura is even more unassuming in front of Hanada than Ino. Yes, what Little Sakura cares about is not that she can't beat Hanada, but that she is afraid that Hanada will find out her feelings for Yagayu. I'm still thinking about it now, but fortunately the Little Sakura matched Hanada. If the match is someone else, if you don't choose to abstain, you will inevitably be beaten severely. This battle is also without suspense. Sakura who only knows three body technique in medical ninjutsu, is not a combat ninja at all, but a cumbersome medical ninja. Hanada, who also positions herself as a medical ninja, masters family secrets and various auxiliary ninjutsu. Coupled with the fact that chakra is very large, and there is no weakness in character, there are only a few candidates who can beat Hanada in this chunin exam. Facing the best friend of little Sakura, Hanada only used acupuncture hands, and defeated Hiro very gently. The eighth fight was Nara Shikamaru vs. Kim. Seeing that his opponent was the guy standing next to Yagayu, Jin's wrist and abdomen were still aching. 
but she didn't feel afraid and chose to abstain from the fight. Being able to survive in the harsh environment of Yinan village and being sent to Konoha to take the Chunin exam as a representative, Jin is not the kind of person who is greedy for life and afraid of death. Although her strength is not strong. As a result of this battle, it was no surprise that Fu ended up in Jin's defeat. However, compared to the cruel Yagayu and Abarame Shino, Nara Shikamaru is a bit more gentleman, just controlling Jin's body and knocking his head against the wall to faint. Yagayu also has nothing against Nara Shikamaru's kindness. Perhaps after he experienced the Serutobi Asuma incident, he would undergo the same transformation as Naruto learned of Jiraiya's death. The ninth battle is Uzumaki Naruto vs Inazuka. 103. Seeing that Naruto still matched Inazuka, Yagayu had to lament his luck. Naruto was officially opened when he met Jiraiya. After meeting Jiraiya, he successively unlocked the five element seal, learned a higher level of chakra control, signed a summoning contract with Mount Myoboku, one of the three holy places, and initially mastered the Nine Tails chakra. After the Chunin exam, he even learned Rasengan, surpassed the chief student in strength from the tail of the crane, and became one of the strongest in the new generation. But before meeting Jiraiya, Naruto's strength is really one of the male crane tails in the Twelve Shaokyang. Hayuga Neji and Xiao Li who graduated earlier than them, and Yagayu and Uchiha Sasuke, the chief student and the second child of 10,000 years, not to mention, whether it is Nara Shikamaru or Abarame Shino, they have more than one way to advance and defeat Naruto. The reason why there is one is because Akamichi Choji, who is not good at fighting now, and Inazuka Kiba, who is really weak, may not be able to defeat Chattanla's Naruto if they are careless. So among the 13 young players counting Yagayu, Yagayu and Shao Li belong to the only one, followed by Hayuga Neji and Uchiha Sasuke, Nara Shikamaru and Abarame Shino again, and the last one is Akamichi Choji, Naruto and Inazuka Tooth. That's why Yagayu lamented Naruto's good luck. Because Naruto at this stage, if he is not matched with Inazuka Ya and Akamichi Choji, but the other 13 Shaokyang, then he was engraved with the five elements seal by Orochimaru at this time, and the Chunin exam really came to an end. But the child of destiny is the child of destiny after all, and Naruto was lucky enough to be matched with Inazuka Kiba. As a result of this battle, Inazuka was still defeated by Naruto's fart and Naruto's combo. The Naruto of the juvenile chapter is always interpreting what is the number one ninja of surprise. After Naruto won, the most exciting battle of the Chunin exam in Yagayu's eyes officially began. The tenth fight. Rock Lee vs Gara. If Naruto is extremely lucky, then Shaoji is extremely lucky. The strength is obviously the big devil among the twelve little strong, and he is the strongest except Yagayu. However, in the qualifying stage, he met Gara, who was the only one who could beat him, so it shouldn't be too unlucky. If he hadn't met Gara in the qualifiers and Xiao Li had successfully passed the qualifiers and advanced to the official match, he would have definitely made a splash in front of the public a month later and became Konoha's supernova in one fell swoop. It's a pity that if there is no if, Xiao Li not only met Gara, but also was banned for several years because of the problem of cheat. He was able to open the fifth gate at the age of 13, but at the age of 17, he was only able to open the sixth gate. As long as the seventh gate can be opened, Xiao Li is still one of the brightest stars of the fourth ninja world war. After all, there are not many people who can block the profound art of body art that can distort the air with this move of the day tiger. The battle between Gara and Xiao Li is also the same as the original. Xiao Li found that his speed could not break through the sand that Gara could automatically defend, and got the permission of Might Guy to take off the super weight that could smash the floor of the venue and then doubled his speed several times, and finally broke through Gara's the sand defense broke through the sand armor that Gara used to protect his body. However, Xiao Li, who took off the weight, didn't suppress Gara for a long time. Because of the use of the exterior and interior, he lost the speed that he was flying just now. But soon, as Xiao Li opened the first gate of the eight inner gates and recovered the physical load brought by Biao Lianhua, he once again showed a speed that shocked everyone in the audience. I saw that Xiao Li, who opened the third gate, just ran around Gara, and his body created a whirlwind in the venue, blowing some weak genin in the stands on the second floor, and had to use his hands to block in front of him. This, is this the real strength of that thick eyebrow?
Butterfly storm set off again. Uchiha Sasuke, who was sealed with the curse of the sky and was sent to the hospital without passing out, returned to the earth building stand with Kakashi when the battle between Li and Gara just started. Seeing the power displayed by Xiao Li at this time, his face was full of shock. This kind of shock is even bigger than that brought by Yagyu who hides his strength. Because before the first exam, Uchiha Sasuke was educated by Xiao Li who confessed to Xiao Sakura just like the original book. The thick eyebrows that day actually kicked him away with a heavy load. If he took off the weight, wouldn't he be able to hang himself easily? Besides Yagyu, among the candidates in this year, there are actually such monsters. Uchiha Sasuke, who found a peer who is stronger than himself, has mixed feelings in his heart. When he saw Xiao Li open the fifth gate and use Li Lianwa to smash Gara and the ground below, Uchiha Sasuke was so shocked that he couldn't speak. Like Uchiha Sasuke, the worldview is broken, and there are Naruto and others. Growing up so big, where have they seen this kind of battle scene? Even the scene when Momochi Zabuza and Kakashi bombarded the water dragon bomb, in front of Xiao Li's Li Lianwa, it was much inferior. Is this kind of power really something a taijutsu ninja can do? What shocked them even more was that Xiao Li, who used such power, failed to defeat Gara. Although Gara was already lying on the ground unable to move, he could still control his own sand, crippling all of Xiao Li's hands and feet who had completely lost his ability to fight. In the end, under the intervention of Might Guy, Xiao Li lost consciousness while standing, and was eliminated with a glorious defeat. The 11th battle is 0.7 to Neji vs Yoda. Yoda is Inazuka Ya's teammate, and also a commoner without a surname. Looking at Hayuga Neji, the number one wealthy family in Konoha, Yoda's face was full of fear. He really wanted to admit defeat, but he was afraid that he would be looked down upon by his teammates, so he could only muster up the courage to come to the court. Hayuga Neji ignored Yoda in front of him, standing on the dilapidated field at this time, he had mixed feelings like Uchiha Sasuke in his heart. Has the crane tail already surpassed him by so much? Hayuga Neji, who was in a complicated mood, defeated Yoda cleanly. With the victory of Hayuga Neji, the 12 candidates who passed the preliminaries are also officially released. They are Yagyu, Uchiha Sasuke, Konkuro, Aburame Shino, Tamari, Hayuga Hanada, Yamanaka Ino, Nara Shikamaru, Uzumaki Naruto, Gara, Hayuga Neji, and Akamichi Choji in the Bai. After the preliminaries, the candidates who had just won returned to the messy venue again, except for Gara who was taken away by Baki. Next, the 11 candidates on the field began to draw lots to determine their opponents for the third formal examination. Yagayu was the first to stand up and draw lots, and he drew number 8. Then there's Uchiha Sasuke, who drew number 11. Hinata drew number 3. After seeing the numbers drawn by Ino Shika Cho, Yagayu realized that the butterfly storm was coming again. Due to Yagayu's arrival, there are three more people who have been promoted to the third formal examination in this Chunin exam than in the original book. Hinata, who was supposed to be defeated by Hayuga Neji in the qualifying round, Ino, who was eliminated along with Sakura, and Akamichi Choji, who was defeated by Toss, all advanced to the official round. This resulted in that the draw was no longer a secret operation, and the battle list for the third official exam was completely different from the original. The original ones who drew numbers 1 and 2 were Naruto and Hayuga Neji. But now the ones who drew numbers 1 and 2 are Nara O2 Shikamaru and Ino. Ino Shika Cho started a civil war in the first battle. Hinata drew number 3, and her opponent was drawn number 4. Hayuga Neji. Yagyu didn't expect that Hinata would still confront Hayuga Neji without any behind-the-scenes manipulation. Yagyu is also looking forward to this battle. Hayuga Neji is not the original Hayuga Neji, and Hinata is not the original Hinata. The battle between these two people will be a showdown between the Zong family and the branch house. I believe it will be very exciting. The number 5 drawn was Tamari, and the opponent's number 6 was Akamichi Choji. The one who drew number 9 was Naruto, and his opponent number 10 was Uchiha Sasuke. Seeing this number, everyone in class 7 was slightly startled. Then Uchiha Sasuke looked at Naruto and once again showed a smile that made Naruto's blood boil. 
It was a smile full of fighting spirit, which reminded Naruto of what Uchiha Sasuke said to him before the qualifying round started. I also really want to fight you. For Naruto, this sentence was recognized by the, old enemy, he had been chasing and longing for. And now, they are really going to face each other in the Chunin exam. At this moment, Naruto felt his whole body on fire. I believe that Naruto will practice very hard in the next month. The one who drew the 11th pick was Aburame Shino, and his opponent was the one who drew the 12th pick. Seeing that Konkuro had drawn the 12th number, all the candidates were slightly startled, and then all their eyes focused on Yagayu. Even Yagayu's face showed a hint of surprise. It was not by accident that Aburame Shino and Konkuro still matched up, but after Konkuro finished drawing lots, there was only one number left in the box held by Midarashi Anko. And the number belongs to Gara, the only one who is not present. The remaining number is. No. 7. In other words, Yagayu's opponent in the third official test was Gara, the only one who was not present. Yagayu. Sakura and Ino, who had just watched the battle between Lee and Gara, cast worried glances at Yagayu. Only Hinata remained unchanged. As one of the few people in the world who knows that Yagayu possesses the blood inheritance of time and space and has experienced powerful teleportation, Hinata does not think that anyone in this world can hurt Yagayu. After being surprised, Yagayu showed a smile on his face, which made Tamari and Konkuro startled slightly. This guy can actually laugh. After watching the battle just now, shouldn't he be pale and his eyes full of fear? Or, is he pretending to be calm and bluffing? At this time, Midarashi Anko also listed the list of matches for the third official game of the exam. No. 1. Nara Shikamaru vs. Number. 2. Yamanaka Ino. No. 3. Hayuga Hanada vs. Number. 4. Hayuga Neji. Open black lens bracket no. 5. Close black lens bracket Tamari vs. Open black lens bracket number. 6. Close black lens bracket Akamichi Choji. No. 7. Gara vs. Number. 8. Yagayu. No. 9. Uzumaki Naruto vs. Number. 10. Uchiha Sasuke. No. 11. Aburame Shino vs. Number. 12. Konkuro. After the lottery was drawn, Sarutobi Hirazan announced the time and place of the third official exam, and the candidates were led away by their guide Jonan. Among these guide Jonan, Yuhihong and Sarutobi Asuma are the most beautiful and proud. Because among the 12 candidates who advanced to the official competition, the 8th and 10th classes accounted for 6 places. The 7th class took up 2, and only Hayuga Neji advanced from the Gai class. In this contest, Yuhihong and Sarutobi Asuma temporarily gained the upper hand. And knowing that Yagayu has the strength to kill elite Jonan, Yuhi Kuranai, who doesn't know what trump card is hidden, doesn't think that the three students of Sarutobi Asuma will be Yagayu's opponents. The champion of the official competition must be Yagayu. As long as Yagayu wins the championship, Yuhihong will be really proud and proud in front of Kakashi and others. Therefore, in order to reward the 8th class who is struggling, Yuhihong doesn't care that Hinata's big stomach will make her bleed. After leaving the forest of death with the three Yagayu, Yuhihong invited them to have barbecue. Coincidentally, in order to reward class 10, Sarutobi Asuma also invited them to have barbecue. Class 8 and Class 10, who had just separated not long ago, met again in the barbecue restaurant. Then the two teams started to share the table. The scene made Sarutobi Asuma want to light up a cigarette, but he could only resist the urge. The scene of feeling very sour in his heart suddenly appeared. I saw that Yagayu became the most beautiful boy in the audience. On the left sat the young and lively Ino, patiently making sauce for him. On the right sat the childlike and busty Hanada, carefully helping him grill the meat, with a gentle and virtuous look, she just had to use chopsticks to put it into Yagayu's mouth. This kid, hugged from left to right at a young age, is simply a winner in life. How could this not make Sarutobi Asuma, who has been pursuing Yuhi Kuranai to no avail, envious and jealous? It's just that Nara Shikamaru doesn't know what Sarutobi Asuma is thinking, otherwise he would definitely roll his dead fish eyes and complain that you have never seen a party in our circle. Hugging left and right is not Yagayu's limit. If Yagayu opens his mouth, little Sakura will definitely ignore all the looks around her and happily stand behind Yagayu and squeeze his shoulders. 
From a very young age, Nara Shikamaru has discovered that both Ino and Sakura have fallen in love with Yagayu. It's just that because of Hinata's existence, they didn't dare to express their feelings. This time during the Chunin exam, Yagayu's heroic rescue of the beauty has already caused a qualitative change in little Sakura's feelings for him. After Ino's feelings for him also changed qualitatively, Nara Shikamaru was very curious about how Yagayu dealt with these three feelings. At the same time, he was also looking forward to the arrival of that moment and enjoying the show. After eating the barbecue, the 8th and 10th classes disbanded on the spot. The next meeting will be in a month. The third official test match is an exhibition match for the public. Such an exhibition match, in the eyes of the ninja, is a match related to the honor of the family. If the ninja kids didn't advance, they wouldn't say anything, and might even comfort each other. But if you advance, you must go all out, and you must not embarrass the family in front of the public. So for the next month, Ino Shika Cho and Aburame Shino, and even Hanada, will be personally coached by their parents, with extra training every day. Only orphans like Yagayu and Naruto can have the freedom they don't have. Of course, if Naruto had a choice, he would rather not have such freedom. Even if he is reprimanded by his parents every day, or even beaten up, he will still laugh happily. As free as they are, there is Uchiha Sasuke. However, just after the beginning of the January period, Uchiha Sasuke was taken away by Kakashi and taught him lightning-style nature transformation stimulating cells and lightning-style Chidori. As for Naruto who took the initiative to ask him to guide him, he was thrown to Ebisu by Kakashi. What's more eccentric is that after Naruto learned Rasengan, Kakashi complained to Jiraiya that he should not be taught such a dangerous ninjutsu to him. Just like that, Yagayu has no respect for Kakashi at all. Like Yumino Uruka and Jiraiya, Yagayu admires them very much. If it weren't for the presence of the two of them, Naruto's blackening would be extremely possible. After all the friends entered the retreat state, Yagayu was idle instead. It's rare for him not to develop the body of time and space, or take advantage of this month's vacation to go to the ninja world to hunt creatures with chakra. Instead, I stayed at Hanada's house, played with Hanabi, and watched Hanada and Hayuga Neji's practice from time to time. During this period of time, Hayuga Hiyashi has been laissez-faire with her eldest daughter and only asks her to be a qualified wife in the future. It is rare for Hanada to personally guide Hanada to teach her the holy boxing secret art of the Guo family. And Hayuga Hazashi, even as Hayuga Neji's sparring partner, wants him to beat Hanada in the official game, to give him and the branch house a good breath. Although these years have passed, Hayuga Hazashi has let go of his hatred for his brother and Hanada, and puts the hope of the Hayuga clan on Yagayu and Hanabi. But it doesn't mean that he has no resentment towards the Zong family. Now this resentment has turned into the motivation for Hayuga Neji to defeat Hanada. The same is true for Hayuga Hiyashi, he couldn't accept the fact that the main family was defeated by the branch house. Even if Hanabi, instead of Hanada, will bear the honor of the clan in the future, he will not allow Hanada, the eldest lady of the clan, to lose to Hayuga Neji of the branch house. For the contest between the twin brothers, Yagayu was speechless and helpless. He couldn't help Hanada, so he could only take Hanabi, who had a rare vacation and didn't need to be stared at by his father every day to practice, and secretly left Konoha to go out to play. And this time out, Hanabi spent the night outside for the first time, so she didn't need to step back home. Because Yagayu took her out this time, he said hello to Hayuga Leongna and Hayuga Hiyashi in advance, and he would take Hanabi out for a few days, saying that it was an agreed reward for her to become the chief student. Hayuga Hiyashi and Hayuga Rihanna, who had great confidence in Yagayu's strength, did not stop him either. As a result, Hanabi's nature was finally liberated. Whenever he came to a strange town, he dragged Yagayu to run around, enjoying the freedom that no one cares about but only loved by others. Still the same sentence, compared with Hanada, Hanabi is undoubtedly happy. Although the daily training is very hard, it is also a kind of strict fatherly love. In this life, Hayuga Leongna did not die, which also allowed her to enjoy maternal love. There is also a gentle and virtuous elder sister, and an elder brother who dotes on her very much and almost responds to her requests. Apart from having no younger brother, Hanabi enjoys all the family affection, including the care from the grandpa given by the clan elders. 
But among these people, apart from his mother, Hanabi's favorite person is undoubtedly Yagayu. In her heart, even Hayuga Hiyashi is far inferior to Yagayu. Because since she became self-aware, Yagayu has more memories of taking care of her and accompanying her than Hayuga Liangna, let alone Hayuga Hiyashi who has to deal with family affairs every day. In addition, Yagayu is not her real brother, which makes Hanabi's liking for him a bit special. In unknown nights, Hanabi would toss and turn, unable to fall asleep, and even woke up to find that the pillow was wet, but it was not saliva, but tears. Because precocious Hanabi knows a lot. For example, after Yagayu and Hinata get married, unless Yagayu joins the Hyuga clan, both Yagayu and Hinata will move out of the Hyuga clan. Thinking that both Yagayu and Hinata will leave, Hanabi will feel afraid and fear that day will come. So Hanabi, who is afraid of losing Yagayu's love, is obviously lively in nature, but very obedient and obedient. Even if it is self-willed, it will be controlled within a certain degree, and it will never give Yagayu a headache. This is also the reason why Yagayu dotes on Hanabi infinitely. After playing outside with Hanabi for more than a week, Yagayu suddenly made a decision to take Hanabi to meet someone. And that person is Shonglin. Backquote, oh, Oni-chan, you are secretly raising a lover outside. Maybe it was Yagayu's sudden arrival, or subconscious reason, Shang Lin jumped into his arms Qian Qian Zhao excitedly. Seeing this scene, Hanabi immediately raised his finger and pointed at Yagayu, and said with a smirk as if I had caught your handle. Master Lu. Yagayu, this, is this. Hearing Hanabi's words, Shang Lin's small face suddenly turned pale, and she looked at Yagayu with expressions. Apparently, she seems to know that Yagayu has a fiancé tiger. And the fact is true, Yagayu avoided the Shira field from happening in the future, and found that Shonglin had changed into his shape, and after he would not leave him no matter what, he had already told Shonglin about himself and Hinata. In this regard, Shonglin really didn't care. As long as she can stay by Yagayu's side, she is very satisfied. Shonglin in the original book is such a person. At this time, seeing that the relationship between herself and Yagayu was discovered, Shonglin was afraid of affecting the relationship between Yagayu and Hinata at the first moment. Stupid, don't talk nonsense. Yagayu tapped Hanabi's head lightly, and with the other hand, from a perspective that Hanabi couldn't see, gently patted Korin's delicate back to comfort her. Immediately, Yagayu introduced to Hanabi, this sister is called Shonglin, and she is a descendant of the Uzumaki clan that my brother and I discovered when I traveled to the ninja world in the past few years, and now I am also a follower of my brother. I see. Hanabi made a stunned sound, but there was an expression of disbelief on that little face. Yagayu did not explain too much, but introduced to Shonglin, this is Hayuga Hanabi, the younger sister of my fiancé. M. You, hello, Master Hanabi. Shonglin hurriedly greeted Hanabi with a respectful and ingratiating appearance, which made Hanabi feel embarrassed immediately, and quickly waved his hands and said, You don't have to be so polite, Sister Shonglin, you can just call me Hanabi. Hanabi's naughtiness is just enough. However, the image of Yagayu in Hanabi's heart has quietly changed. Seeing Shonglin throwing himself into Yagayu's arms just now, Hanabi is sure that it's not the first time that the other party has done this, Yagayu has never refused the other party's intimate gestures. Obviously, the relationship between Yagayu and Shonglin is definitely not as simple as Yagayu said. Her 410 Oni sauce turned out to be a flirtatious guy. Surprisingly, Hanabi didn't feel angry, but instead felt a strange feeling. It was a feeling that couldn't be described in words. It belonged to Hanabi's age, and it was an emotion that no matter how precocious he was, he couldn't understand it. Yagayu didn't know how Hanabi felt, otherwise he would have smiled with satisfaction. The reason why he decided to bring Hanabi to meet Shonglin is to break his image of a perfect brother in Hanabi's heart. To be precise, it is to give Hanabi a vaccination to let her know that he is not a single-minded good man, but a man with a heart. In this way, when Hanabi's three views are finalized and other women appear beside Yagayu, he will not be unacceptable and disgusted with him. As long as Hanabi accepts Yagayu's playful character design, then when she is a few years older, Yagayu can attack this sister-in-law who has been raised since childhood. As a selfish traveler, Yagayu will never allow the cabbage he has raised for so many years to be so cheap to others. Under the initiative of Shonglin, 
Hanabi got to know Shonglin before Hanada. Soon, Hanabi had a good impression of this sister. Because, Shonglin put his status too low, it can be called humble. Even though Hanabi is several years younger than her, Shonglin's attitude towards her is so respectful and flattering. In the face of such a person, Hanabi felt embarrassed and awkward, but he really didn't have any bad feelings towards Shonglin. In order to improve the relationship between his sister-in-law and his lover quickly, Yagyu took the initiative to break the awkward atmosphere and took Shonglin and Hanabi to visit other towns. However, if Shonglin and Hanabi observe carefully, they will find that the towns that Yagyu took them to are all the territory of the Land of Fire. Although the Land of Fire is the country with the best resources among the five major countries, and there are bustling towns everywhere, it does not mean that other countries do not have tourist holy places as their signatures. For example, Yuno country has a famous hot spring town, which attracts countless rich people and nobles. But Yagyu did not take the two daughters to other countries, but to play in the prosperous towns of the land of fire, to be precise, the towns with gambling. Yagyu wants to see his luck, if he can find Tsunade and Shizun before the Chunin exam is over. If they can be found in advance, with the identity of Shonglin and the plan that Yagyu has prepared long ago, Shonglin will definitely be able to make Shonglin worship Tsunade as a teacher. Interestingly enough, Tsunade and Shizun hid from debts in the land of fire, or in remote places that weren't bustling towns. Every time he went to a bustling town, Yagyu, who would open the time perception town of Domain Ripple, did not find the two of them. It seems that the only way to go to Banchu Street is to wait until after the Chunin exam is over. Yagyu, who couldn't find Tsunade and Asiya, began to concentrate on playing with Kaurin and Hanabi in the Land of Fire. In just a few days, the relationship between Shonglin and Hanabi has grown by leaps and bounds, and they are already sisters. Girls' friendship is as simple as that. When the time came to August, Yagyu had just finished this outing, and promised Shonglin that he would help her join Konoha after a while, and brought Hanabi back to Konoha. During this time, the relationship between Hanabi and Yagyu has also been greatly improved. Hanabi, who thinks he has caught Yagyu's handle, has a little less respect for Yagyu, and a little more is no big or small. It is also true that the two people's goodwill, which is close to full value, will be improved again. Relying on this, hack, Hanabi stayed in Yagyu's room almost every day, asking Yagyu to tell her a story, or secretly leaving Konoha all these years, doing something outside, and finally fell asleep on Yagyu's chest. And every day when she wakes up, the saliva will wet Yagyu's clothes, making the precocious sister-in-law flush with embarrassment. With that cute appearance, Yagyu couldn't help ravaging Hanabi's little face every day, either by rubbing his hands vigorously, or biting it, and it was covered with saliva. But happiness is short-lived, even if this holiday lasts for a month, it will soon come to an end. After one month passed, Yagyu didn't know what kind of transformation happened to other friends. However, Hinata's temperament has a touch of heroism. The change in momentum also shows that Hinata has not stood still this month, but has made considerable progress. As for which aspect of progress, Yagyu doesn't know, and doesn't intend to ask. He will know when the official match starts. Soon, the time came to August 7th. This day is also the opening time of Konoha's third official exam of the Chunin exam. Just like the few days before the first exam last month, Konoha has added a lot of unfamiliar faces these days. It's just that last month were all genin from various ninja villages, but this time it's all ordinary people, rich and nobles who came to Konoha from thousands of miles to appreciate ninja fighting. It is difficult for ordinary people to see the battle between ninjas. When they see it, it means that danger and death are at hand. In addition to the black market, only when the major ninja villages hold the Chunin exam, can they have the opportunity to see ninja battles up close. Therefore, the Chunin exams in the five major countries all have official competitions. Whenever the official competitions arrive, the tourism industry will rise. While being able to demonstrate national strength, it will also improve the economy of the village. Therefore, on this day of the official competition, the five major ninja villages will attach great importance to it. Even though it was just a genin battle, all the shadows from the village would come to watch the battle, and sometimes shadows from other countries would also come to watch the battle. 
there were Jonan and Anbu as guards around the venue to ensure the safety of the foreign rich and nobles. On this day, it was rare for Yagayu to wake up early without Hinata waking him up. Because he is in a good mood today, and he has been looking forward to the dawn since last night. Yagayu has been waiting for this day for many years. The era of Serutobi Hirazan is coming to an end. Konoha is about to usher in a new life and enter a new era. This new era is also the era of their new generation. So Serutobi Hirazan must die, even if the butterfly effect occurs, Serutobi Hirazan may escape, Yagayu will find the opportunity to send him on the road with his own hands. If he doesn't die, Yagayu will waste a lot of time cleaning the moths from the leaves. As long as he dies, the borers of the leaves will lose their protective umbrella. At that time, Yagayu wants to clean these moths, just need a whim. So when Hinata came to Yagayu's house with breakfast, she found that Yagayu had not only woke up and washed, but also changed into a new battle uniform. It was a black robe that was different from a kimono. The difference was that the hem of the robe was not particularly long, which would not affect Yagayu's speed. There is a white belt around his waist, a single-edged straight sword that is also different from a samurai sword, and black boots on his feet. This outfit, coupled with Yagayu's black hair and red eyes, changed his temperament suddenly, and Hinata's heart beat a little faster. In the past, Yagayu liked to wear couple outfits with Hinata. A black windbreaker with a white inner shirt, using the vocabulary of Yagayu's previous life to describe it as a modern style. But now, Yagayu is wearing a black robe with a straight sword tied around his waist, and his temperament has suddenly changed from a modern style to an ancient style, completing the transformation of a modern school grass and an ancient nobleman. The first time I saw Yagayu wearing Hinata in this style, it was normal to feel my heart beat faster. In fact, this is not the first time Yagayu has worn this outfit, it's just that no one has seen it. He wears this outfit when Yagayu sneaks away from Konoha every year during the holidays to hunt creatures with chakra. If someone is brought out by impure world reincarnation and sees Yagayu at this time, he will be frightened out of his body, and will take the initiative to break free from the shackles of reanimation jutsu. How about it, are you impressed by my handsomeness? Yagayu, who put ghost cry into his belt, walked up to Hinata, first teased, and then kissed Hinata forcefully without giving Hinata a chance to bow her head shyly. It was not until Hinata was about to suffocate that Yagayu let the breathless girl go. Immediately, Yagayu ate a nutritious meal made by Hinata with a red face, and then the two left the house to meet Abarame Shino. Coming to the old place, Yagayu saw Abarame Shino waiting for them again. Seeing this scene, Yagayu rarely felt a little embarrassed. A teammate as reliable as Abarame Shino is very rare in the entire ninja world. But such a reliable teammate, Yagayu will find a way to kick Chunin away after the exam is over. No way, a squad, including the guide Jonin, can only have a maximum of four people. Yuhi Hong is guiding Jonin, unless Yagayu and the others leave the team, they will not leave the team. And Hinata is Yagayu's fiancé and Yagayu's wing. In this way, if you want another wing, Shonglin, to join the 8th class, you can only kick Abarame Shino away. This is also impossible. When Yagayu no longer hides himself, except for the transformed Hinata, neither Yuhihong nor Abarame Shino can keep up with his rhythm. Yuhihong couldn't kick away, and Yagayu was not willing to kick, so he had to give up the oil. That's why Yagayu felt embarrassed. When this is done, Abarame Shino must be compensated well. After the 8th team assembled, they set off towards Konoha's square. Along the way, Yagayu and others also saw various crowds flocking towards the square. The clear sky is also blooming with fireworks at this time. After the 8th class came to the square, on the vast square, there were three brothers and sisters Ino Shika Cho and Gara, as well as the official examiner of the third exam, who was also the guard of the fourth Hokage, who held the flying thunder god Jin's special Jonin Shiranui Genma. Wow, Yagayu, you look so handsome in this outfit. Tisk tisk. You suddenly dressed up so badly, don't you want to show off today? That sword, don't tell me it's just for decoration. Looking at Yagayu's new clothes, Ino's beautiful eyes sparkled, looking like a nympho. Nara Shikamaru clicked his tongue slightly, then suddenly noticed the ghost crying on Yagayu's waist, and asked meaningfully. Yagayu did not answer, but changed the subject and said, it seems that we are not the latest. 
Naruto and Sasuke don't know what they're doing, and Hayuga Neji hasn't arrived yet. Nara Shikamaru scratched his head, rolled his dead fish eyes and said, Everyone said I was lazy, but we were the first to arrive. Akamichi Choji nodded approvingly. Looking at Nara Shikamaru, who was chatting with Yagayu, with arms folded and eyes closed, the three Gara siblings couldn't help but opened their eyes and glanced at them. Tamari frowned slightly, thinking that this guy who not only had a pineapple head but also had dead fish eyes was annoying. Yagayu didn't know what Tamari was thinking, otherwise he would have sighed that the butterfly effect had appeared again. The opponent is not Tamari, but Ino's Nara Shikamaru. It is difficult to find a wife who understands herself. People with higher IQs are more picky, and I don't know how long Nara will be single. Gara looked at Yagayu blankly. Of course, this expressionless face is the reason for sand armor. Maybe under the sand armor, Gara's expression has become ferocious. Those black eye circles like black ink, and the eyes of people who have killed countless people, it's no wonder that Naruto was also frightened into a cold sweat. Ah, don't chase me. While Yagayu was chatting with Nara Shikamaru and Ino, Hayuga Neji arrived at some point. At the same time, there was a scream, even though the auditorium was noisy, it still reached the ears of Yagayu and others. I saw Naruto, who was the first in accident, was chased into the square by a group of cows, and Ino and others were speechless for a while. Fortunately, those bulls were all fixed by the guards with the gold binding technique, and then they used illusion to control them to leave. Just when the third official test match was about to start, another afterimage appeared out of thin air. I saw that there was no embarrassment at all, and Uchiha Sasuke, who still had time to go home to take a shower and change into new clothes, appeared on the stage with a confident smile. Seeing this scene, many girls who had a crush on and liked Uchiha Sasuke in the auditorium, or the audience who came here specially for the Sharingan of the Uchiha clan, screamed and shouted. Unlike the original book, which was late and then the game with Gara was delayed, Uchiha Sasuke arrived on time. Looking at Uchiha Sasuke's fart, Naruto couldn't help curling his lips, but after thinking about his achievements in this month's practice, he also showed a confident smile on his face, looking forward to the game and preparing to surprise Uchiha Sasuke. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support our channel.